today we are making tortillas. I mean, enchiladas. <laughs> um, you want to make sure that you put separate tongs, one for the oil and one for the enchilada sauce. And you want to make them kind of hard because otherwise when you go to put it in the enchilada sauce and put all your stuff inside, otherwise it will fall apart. So you, want it, you don't want it too crispy though, okay? So let's see, that's getting a little hard, a little crispy. So we're going to drop this. I let it drip a little bit. Drop this in the enchilada sauce, but we're going to use separate tongs for that. Meanwhile, you put another new one in. And you want to use separate tongs. Be very careful picking it up so it doesn't fall apart or break on you. Okay, separate tongs. And then you put it in there. Add your meat. I'm going to do onions on one of mine because Dawn does not like onions, so I do. And I like jalapenos, and you can put whatever you want. I mean, if you want to add weird, other weird things in there. Maybe your green um, chilies that you guys like from, um, that you brought home from uh, Carlsbad. Okay, so then you add your cheeses. This is the Mexican cheese. And this is the, um, I like to do sharp cheddar cheese. Uh-oh, this one needs to be turned over, so we're going to turn that over. So meanwhile, while you're putting all these together, you've got that cooking. You drop it in there, make sure you use separate tongs. I've already got the oven going, and you want to cook it for about 20 minutes. You want to just kind of look at it and see if it's um, gurgling. And there's my tostitos for with refried beans we're going to put on the side and you want to um, cook it. Uh, I always cover it with foil. You put and the you cheese on top. You're going to put lots of cheese on top and you can use chicken or ground beef or whatever kind of meat you want to use for it. It really doesn't matter. It just depends on what you like. Um, and then you want to uh, oh, I wish I had cilantro. Cilantro would be really good. But anyway, see how mine has onions. I'm going to put some jalapenos so you can distinguish whose is mine and whose is Dawn's. And you want to um, put lots of cheese on top. And that's what we're going to do after I get them all rolled up. All cute and rolled up. Aren't they cute? One more thing, One more thing to add to my story. Um, so we're going to add the cheese. But um, we need to put... The rest of the, I, I put uh, sauce at the bottom of the, of the pan, and then I was dipping it in the sauce, as you saw earlier. You don't have to do that. I just did it. I mean, you can just, you can just pour some at the bottom of the pan, and then pour some on top. But I wanted it, I wanted them to have lots of sauce inside them and everything. So, just like that. And then we're going to add the cheeses on top. So, just going to sprinkle the cheese on top and all that.